guys, this is Kara with the bag holder as well as today's living and we are going to do a new twist on Popeye. This was actually a request from one of our fans on Facebook and you can see us at facebook.com slash bag holder or facebook.com slash TL family if you're interested in listening to the blog talk radio. Now she said she loves chicken pot pie but she really doesn't like the, the pea or the uh, carrots and the peas. She really wanted broccoli and mushrooms so I said you know what I'll do a video about it. And we are going to do a twist on the original pot pie. Now I'm going to go over the ingredients really quick. We've got one and a half chicken breasts. Mind you, these are the fat little buggers. Do you see that? This is not a cutlet. This is one and a half. And this is going to serve three to four people. We've got curry. Now you can use yellow curry. I like things with a little kick. So we're using red curry. We've got garlic salt. We've got cream of chicken soup. Now, if you want to make your own bechamel sauce or your base, absolutely go for it. You can see one of our videos about that. We've got mushrooms, sliced mushrooms. I'm all about saving time by buying things that are pre-cut and pre-ready to go. I have fresh broccoli. Now, I've cut two cups of fresh broccoli, and we're going to use a cup of shredded cheddar. You can use cheddar, Swiss, what, uh, and this is just a Mexican blend because I had it in my fridge. We're also going to throw in a few carrots and potatoes to thicken the sauce up. Now, we're going to use the cream of chicken, but then we're going to add about a half a cup or a half a can of water to this. Now, I know you know two things are missing. Our pie shell, which is a deep dish pie shell, as well as the puff pastry, which is going to go on top of our um, pot pie. So, here we go. As you know, I use the bag holder for everything. The bag holder turns any bag into a bowl, which makes me, my cleanup, and everything else very easy. I love mixing in it. I'm going to start to add the ingredients that I've already got prepped. Now, this bag was reused. I made a, if you saw our other video, I'm basically repurposing this bag. Perfect. Popped it right back on the holder. I did forget to tell you we have sage. Now, this is optional. I had fresh sage in there. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in. This is about two teaspoons. We're going to do, like I said, the can of cream of chicken soup. Just plop that, and then we're going to fill this with a half a can of water. So let me grab that, and you can hear me running the water, and I'm still talking. So this is a half a can. Great for measuring. Less cleanup, less mess. We're going to do a teaspoon of the garlic salt. Basically, these are those little um, Pampered Chef. I do love Pampered Chef stuff, but it's their little measuring cups. You can turn a teaspoon into a tablespoon in a matter of seconds. And I'm sprinkling it over here. There we go. Now we're going to do a teaspoon of this red curry. I know you're going, oh my lord, that's all right. This is not a kid-friendly recipe unless your kids like spicy food. Basically, that was a teaspoon, just under a teaspoon. And base again, flavor it however you want. Get yellow curry, fantastic, yum, yum, yum. Let's move these out of the way. You know I keep a trash can right next to me. That's perfect for you guys too. That way your cleanup is a breeze. Now we're going to add a cup of these sliced mushrooms. I'm not going to use it all. That's why you want to plan your menu for the week so you don't waste them. We've got a cup of mushrooms. Again, throw it right inside there. We've got a couple of potatoes left from the meal that we cooked before. So I'm going to just cut these. We're quartering them. These were par-baked. Now if you want to add potatoes and don't have any available, keep canned potatoes on hand at all times. Or like a frozen bag of the hash brown potatoes that are not already pre-cooked. Great, very easy to add to any recipes, stews, soups, etc. So we've got those two potatoes. That's going to be a thickening agent. Once it starts to cook, it's going to be like mush, but it's going to add a great flavor. Now, let's cut our chicken. We're just going to do this in bite size because no pot pie, in my opinion, should be used with a knife and a fork. It just needs to be a plain old fork, even a spoon. Gobble it up just like that. Great kid-friendly meal, um, any pot pie. Now this one, like I said, the red curry gives it a little kick. So you just want to test it before you give it to your kids. Cut it into bite-sized pieces, all of the ingredients. Now those potatoes, you may say, oh, those were just a smidge too big. I need to have a big mouth like you, Kara, to, uh, to be able to eat that. Well, once I put these in here, you can see that I'm going to be able to, there's a little fat bugger on there, so let's cut that away. But you're going to be able to see, using a bag, you can mash and mix all of these ingredients very simply and very quickly. We're going to add the rest of that. Now the only thing we have left is the cheese. Look at this, how fast this goes. We're going to add this. I've got my measuring cup. Just add about a cup. This is just going to add a nice little flavor, good creamy texture. 
If you have less, great. If you have more, great. If you don't want it at all, great. No problem. Again, cooking is not complicated. You just need to accommodate your family. That's what every meal needs to be about. So we've got all of the ingredients that we're going to add here. I'm going to take the bag out of the holder. Look how tasty that looks. All ready, and we haven't even started mixing. We just want to seal up our bag, take out the air. Taking out the air when you're using a bag to mix allows you to mix it easier. And you can see it's really simple to mix this all up faster than using a bowl. And of course, I have no dishes. Again, this was repurposed, so I have not had to use any water to rinse it out. Um, I haven't had to dry it. I'm not going to have to run to my dishwasher. Fantastic. Do you see how nice and neat this all mixes it all in? There's no area that's not blended because my hands were born to mix and that's what they're doing when I'm using these bags. So there's two things that I need to get, actually three. You need, I'm going to get the pie crust as well as the pastry and then we're going to use the egg wash. Okay, we've got our pie shell and you can see I store it in a gallon bag inside the freezer to keep it fresh. And I'm going to repurpose that gallon bag and store all the veggies that I cut up for the, this today and use it to store for a stir fry because there's nothing wrong with it and I don't even need to wash it. Now we've got our deep dish pie shell. We're going to add everything from the bag just like this. Again, this is basically, this is what I call a curry broccoli chicken pot pie. Very simple. Look how tasty that looks. Can you see that? O M. Gee, and everything is evenly blended. Look at this fabulous. Okay, what we're missing, we need to get, well, we're not missing anything, we just haven't done it yet, is our puff pastry. I had it sitting and defrosting on a piece of wax paper. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cover our pie shell, just like that, and move this knife out of the way. That would be an awful event if I dropped it on my toe. But now we're just gonna start to pinch it all around. Basically get all the pie crust covered so there's no little holes. I don't cut little slits in the top. I don't know why. I just don't. I never have. I can use a little design if I want to, which I think I will save this part right here. And I'm not pinching it yet, but this part right here we're going to make use to make a couple little leaves on it. This is a perfect... There, I can set it right on there. And you know, if you have not heard about my favorite little tip that I try to tell everybody, use these plastic placemats to use your cutting and your mixing. Um, and do everything on top of it because one, it's easy to clean up. Two, it's not gonna hurt your countertops. These are Corian countertops or granite, I don't know, who cares. I know that they're delicate and you can't cut on them. And I use this all the time. I don't need to pull out a cutting board and get it washed and make sure it's sanitized. Bah hum, but use this, throw it in the dishwasher, you're done. So now what we're going to do is we've got our shell. Look at this. This is going to be so delicious. We are going to be sure that we have all of our little holes. Everything is pinched together. Now, if you accidentally pull too hard and you've got a little split in your pie crust, do not stress about it. Take a deep breath and just pinch it back together. Look at this. Fan, fantastic. What we're going to do is we are going to cut this pastry. We're going to cut and let's see, let's make a little leaf here. Look, I am not real artistic, I'm creative. There's a total difference between creativity and artistic. I am not artistic. I can think it, but I have a hard time like drawing it or doing it. So, when you see my leaves, oh, you, got, you guys need to see the heart in the other chicken pot pie recipe, boy. Just feel sorry for my kids in art class. But basically, I'm going to cut this. They're looking like little holly leaves, blah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice and beautiful. Now I'll run, yeah, I just grabbed that knife. Uh, note to self, do not grab the sharp part of the knife in your hand unless you have a steel glove on. Put little balls, these are the little holly berries. You, if you are creative or you have cookie cutters, which is what we do during the holidays, you can roll that out. You can do turkeys and hearts and whatever the season is. You can do designs, names, etc. Now, you can see that I've got my pot pie ready to go. The only thing that's missing is the egg wash. Now, the egg wash is basically an egg crack. I'm going to wash the top of the pastry. That's where it comes from. That is, and I'm going to show you a tip. You don't need a brush. Grab a paper towel, wrap it around your hand, and basically 
paint just like you do with your kids. Perfect. Paint all around the pastry topping. This is good if you're doing anything, if you're doing um, appetizers, if you do our pesto spirals, egg wash, egg wash, egg wash. Any sweet pies, fruit pies, pot pies, um, anything that uses pastry like this, you're gonna to wanna to do an egg wash. Basically, you're gonna finger paint, and the reason you do this is so that your pastry looks bright and shiny and really yummy, and not dull and boring and drab. There we go, look at this. Fabulous! We're good to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this in the oven with our other pot pie. If you saw the video, it's baking. Does this look yummy? OMG. Look at the broccoli, it's like bursting out, ready to be gobbled up. Um, we're gonna pop this in the oven, 350, 375. You wanna preheat the oven. We're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes and we're gonna check on it, make sure that it's ready to go. And then we are going to cut it and eat it. OMG. Do you guys see this? This is our curry, broccoli, and mushroom chicken pot pie. And the other one over here is our traditional pot pie. And if you check us out at facebook.com slash bag holder, you will see a picture of the inside of the pot pie. I know you're drooling right now. And I will tell you, this is one reason why you want to line any pan that you cook a pie on, because you have a very quick and easy cleanup. We're just gonna pull, peel that up and throw it away and put the pan right back in the cabinet. So guys, join us at facebook.com slash tlfamily, facebook.com slash backholder, and please, please, please subscribe to this video if you like anything you see. It warms my heart, and I will keep doing fantastic videos. And if you have a suggestion of something you wanna learn how to make, comment right below. Thanks so much, bye.